Hello, these are some planters that I turned into planters. Well, they're not planters, but I turned them into planters. These are some, excuse me, some Dollar Tree buckets. And I just put some holes in the bottom of them, in the bottom of them by using these scissors and just poking it and twisting it around to make the hole in the bottom of them. be using them to put my herbs in or whatever else I want to do but I just want to share this how I'm making some planters to put my herbs in and also sharing how I made the holes in the bottom of them easily by using one end of scissors carefully poke it and then as it opens twist it to make the hole just sharing Okay, I have repotted my herb plants into some bigger containers that I got from the Dollar Tree. That's my lemon balm. Did I say lemon? Lemon balm. Lemon thyme. I don't know why I said balm, but it's lemon thyme plant. That's my mint. It's in a pink container. It's doing well. I have some pictures of my peppermint plant had collapsed due to stress of not having enough water i'll have a picture so you guys can see that and um the lemon balm i keep saying it lemon balm my lemon thyme is doing okay let's see what else we can get into this plant was in shock total collapse i had to give it some water now i did that last night this morning it's perked right back up so it was a water issue so happy that's all it was happy parking peppermint <laughs> happy parking peppermint new growth on my Starfish Sans Sevilla, aka Snake Plant. Wonderful. These are spores on the back of a leaf of a fern plant leaf. These to um, grow a fern plant, you have to use these spores. These are the seeds aka spores that you have to use in order to propagate a fern plant you can see them they're turning brown I had this I guess for a week I just have them wrapped in this paper towel I heard it takes a long time to um, grow a fern plant but I just want to share with you if in case some of you did not know how to propagate a fern plant. This is how you would do it. You have to let the spores, aka spore seeds, on the back of the fern leaf dry. And then you'll, I guess, shake them off. And then you have to go and um, plant them in some, I guess, peat moss or something. Do your research if you want to know further about how this propagation technique works for propagating a fern. This is a, this is a Cali Lily C-A-L-L-I that I my husband got me for Mother's Day. This plant here is perennial so it will grow back. I believe in the fall you have to cut all these leaves back and then it just lies dormant I guess again till the spring or the, or the till the spring summer comes and then it grows back into this beautiful lily plant here that's not really a lily I heard the Cali lily is not really a lily it's some kind of hybrid I'm not going into deep details because still novice gardening on my little balcony 
support me if you will and let's see what else we can share this is an update on these um, watch chain plants I gave them a haircut they're still alive I guess after a while they'll just be a big beautiful plant like their mother well she was I have to give her haircut still this is the update of the simple layering technique I'm gonna let you know this thing has been snatched out twice once by me and once by my husband I had to put it back in here as you can see this plant there was on this this um, vine here and it grew down into the plant and so when we did knock it out I just poked it back in the dirt but it grew the stem grew into the soil so hey it's cool what's taking place I'm not an expert I don't know all the scientific um, details about how about plant what is it botany but I'm doing some simple cultivating on my little balcony <laughs> anyway just want to share an update with you guys about my simple layering it's doing great let's see what else we can share this is rosemary she's holding her own I just got to remember to keep the dirt moist not soggy wet because herb, some herbs don't like soggy wet soil soggy wet soil they like moist soil so I'm going to be working on my skills to keep soil moist and just sharing rosemary's in her green larger container that I got from the Dollar Tree also want to share with you my husband got me this succulent here this is a jade money money tree and it's in one of my homemade bottle containers oh if you can see back there that's the um starfish um sanjavir aka snake plant it's growing a new um cylinder i believe or fish tube <laughs> and this is the pink polka dot look at those beautiful red leaves so far so good it's um, still maintaining got some new growth right there so just gotta keep doing an update see how it does let's see what else we can get into this is the sweet mint it's doing great I did put it in a larger pot too as you can see it's thriving it's got a new growth right there right there and see that the um, oregano is coming back just wanted to um, say since I um, separated this mother of a thousand pink babies i didn't realize at first that i have already propagated this plant dividing a plant is one form of propagation it's a form of propagation when you separate a plant to make more plants that's a way of propagating so my pink my mother of a thousand pink babies is propagated and later on in the future I will separate this plant again as you can see it's doing quite well I love it I love my little plant skills my little gardening skills alrighty just want to share that information okay some of us didn't know everybody doesn't know everything in case some of y'all that do know everything <laughs> didn't know that uh, boxwood it's doing good look i got a lot boxwood update look at the live leaf doing great till next time